When you pick up the FN57 for the first time, it's like getting a glimpse of the future. You can totally see this firearm being used on some future battlefield, and as the soldier's Chris Vector went empty, he transfers over to the 5.7. The gun definitely has some futuristic characteristics, but at the same time it's familiar enough that anyone with some experience with firearms can immediately pick it up and use it. The 5.7 comes with a great deal of controversy. Since its availability to U.S. citizens in 2004, the Brady Campaign has been trying to get the importation of the 5.7 ceased, stating that the bullet is too powerful and the capacity is too high, giving it such nicknames as Cop Killer, even though a police officer in the United States has never been shot by a 5.7. So how did this futuristic and controversial pistol become a reality? Well, the Brady campaign can thank their friends at NATO. In the mid-90s, NATO wanted a personal defense weapon and a pistol developed. They wanted both to be small in size, compact, have large capacities, and a new round more powerful than the 9mm able to penetrate body armor. Thus, FN won the contract, at least in part, with the PS90 personal defense weapon 5.7 pistol and its new 5.7 by 28 round. Let's talk about the bullets just for a second. FN says that the 5.7 is the perfect hybrid of the 9mm and the 5.56. People who love the round will say that the only thing more powerful is the 50 BMG. And the round's naysayers say it's more like a 22 Magnum. Here's what I'll say about it. I don't want to get shot with one. And I asked for volunteers and couldn't find anyone else who wanted to get shot with one for the video. Too bad, that would have been some YouTube gold. When you first pick up the 5.7, the first thing that you notice is it's light, only weighing in at 1.6 pounds loaded with 20 rounds. Second thing is that the whole gun is coated in polymer, even the slide. And for those old timers out there that hate those newfangled plastic guns, don't worry, there's steel underneath that plastic. At least on the slide. The polymer of course helps with weight, but it also allows all reflective surfaces to be covered up and of course helps to resist corrosion and adds to durability. The grip is aggressively checkered and there's one finger swell giving the user a really nice purchase on the gun. The grip feels really good in the hand and is slim like a 1911, which is amazing considering the capacity of the gun. Let's talk about the safety. Some people really hate where FN decided to put the safety on this gun, but I personally love it. It's ambidextrous and activated by the trigger finger. And what could be more intuitive than having the safety activated by the same finger that pulls the trigger? The gun also features Picatinny rail for accessories, tactile loaded chamber indicator, a decent trigger for a service pistol, and these really cool bumps on the back of the slide that really help in slingshotting the slide. I really like this little feature and I'm surprised that other companies haven't picked up on this. The gun also has a magazine safety. I hate these. And for those that don't know, dropping the magazine out of the gun disables the trigger, thus rendering the gun useless. Sometimes I think that FN just added this feature to appease those that felt the gun was too powerful. Like yeah, it goes through body armor, but it's got a manual safety and a magazine safety, so it's a very safe firearm. I need to look into getting mine removed. For those that care, like me, the gun appears to be striker fired but actually the polymer shell is concealing the hammer. Hammer fired guns typically have better triggers, so I feel this adds to the trigger and keeping it concealed prevents any malfunction that may occur due to the hammer. Brilliant design feature. Overall, the FN57 pistol has been very well thought out and delivers big in the ergonomics department. 
In the states that still think the Constitution is a valid document that we should abide by and aren't considering communism as a good alternative, the 5.7 comes with three 20 round magazines. As if to say take your magazine ban and stick it where the sun doesn't shine. There's also a 30 round extended magazine available so you can truly feel like you have an assault rifle in the palm of your hand. Well, whether you think the 57 by 28 is an anemic round or the handheld version of the 50 BMG, there's no denying that the design of this next generation pistol is truly noteworthy and something everyone should check out.